case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1983, Edward Cleveland was severely injured in a plane crash involving a Piper Super Cub aircraft that he was piloting. He sued the Piper Aircraft Corporation, claiming that their negligent design of the aircraft led to his injuries. Piper argued that federal regulations preempted state common law and that compliance with FAA regulations nullified Cleveland's claims. However, the trial court denied their motion for summary judgment on this defense. In May 1986, a jury awarded Cleveland $2.5 million, but Piper appealed the decision. The case, known as Cleveland X. Relorum, Cleveland v. Piper Aircraft Corp., was heard in 1993 by the United States Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit. The court examined whether state common law claims are preempted by federal aviation law unless an express preemption provision exists. In their ruling, the court denied Piper's preemption arguments and determined that the trial court had erred in limiting the new trial to specific issues and evidence from the first trial. As a result, the case was sent back for further proceedings, allowing parties to request new evidence and witnesses if their denial resulted in manifest injustice. The landmark decision in the case established that state common law claims are not preempted by federal aviation law unless there is an express preemption provision in the law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.